Europe now. A vote is underway in Denmark on a bill that would take cash and valuables from refugees in order to pay for their stay in the country. For more on this, we're joined by Eva Singer, who's the head of the asylum uh, for the Danish Refugee Council. Eva, thanks for your time. What immediate impact will it have on refugees already in the country and those intending to come to Europe? Well, the, uh, the biggest problem with the bill, which is being discussed today in the Danish parliament, is the uh, prohibition of uh, being allowed to reunite with your family for three years for certain groups of refugees. This will have a great impact on uh, asylum seekers and refugees who are already in the country, but who have been separated from their families. And there's 25,000 refugees already in the country and more are expected to follow, of course. How are the Danish right to say that their welfare system is overloaded or, or is it true? Well, it obviously is a big challenge for any country, including Denmark, but it's a question of logistics and uh, it's a question of uh, setting aside the, the amount of money which is needed. And uh, I think, and, and many with me, think that, uh, that Denmark is far from uh, being in a situation where it is not possible to assist refugees. And uh, of course, we are assisting refugees, but uh, the, the present proposal is part of a bigger plan to avoid asylum seekers coming to Denmark. Does this set a dangerous precedent, do you think, for other countries in the e EU? And how does this new bill contravene EU conventions at the moment? Well, yes, it does. I mean, all the countries are looking at each other and, and uh, somehow we, we have this race to the bottom uh, in terms of uh, providing protection to refugees who are in need of, of protection. Um, so, yes, it is something which is being looked at at other countries and, and other countries are... And Denmark is looking at other countries as well. So it is uh, definitely going to, to be an issue for refugees in Denmark. And in terms of the, the, uh, the rights of the refugees, we believe that this is a very clear violation of the European Convention on Human Rights to uh, deny refugees the right to family reunification for the first three years. And obviously, this is a decision that's made by Denmark alone. Do you think that um, th this move really highlights the need for the EU to make collective, collective decisions over the uh, refugee crisis? Definitely. This is a, a challenge that uh, each country cannot uh, deal with on its own. It is important and, and necessary for all of Europe, both EU but also the countries outside of the EU, to work together. And if, if the countries were willing to do so, the, the challenge would be manageable. Okay, thanks very much for your time, Eva.